I take no objection at all to those who would not have this as their choice at the time that their life was in the home stretch. Frankly, I don't know what decision I would make uh, facing that moment, and I hope that's years away, but it could change. Um, right now, the law in New Jersey is very clear that if you help a person end their life, you are subject to uh, criminal prosecution. This bill changes that. Now, this bill is called Aid in Dying for the Terminally Ill for a very basic reason. Other parts of the country is commonly referred to as death with dignity. The one thing I've learned through these years of this discussion, being involved with people both pro and con, is that whatever decision a person makes at the time that their life is concluding is their choice and is their dignity, and it would be presumptuous for us to suggest in law that the only death with dignity that could occur would be if you were to ask for assistance in having your life come to a conclusion. And that's why we chose to call it exactly what it is. It's aid in dying for the terminally ill. And it does it with a, with a structure. There's checks and balances. There's waiting periods. There could be the requirements for review by a psychologist, a psychiatrist, or the proper health care professional to absolutely assure that the person making the request for the prescription uh, is in control of their faculties and capable of making the decision. And I want to be very clear about another point. Uh, again, as I said, I have no objection to a person not being favorable to this because their personal beliefs run so deep. Uh, but I do not, I am not as charitable to those who would misrepresent what this bill does for the purposes of trying to derail its progress and to deny people that may be of a difference of opinion their choice. It, under no circumstances, the bill could not be clearer. A disability is not a terminal illness. And anyone that testifies today suggesting that this bill is going to cause that to be interpreted that way has simply either been miscounseled, did not read the bill correctly, or has been intentionally misled. It is just simply not the case based on how the bill is structured. Should we deny people in New Jersey who would like to have this option, should we deny them that option? And that's what this is about. Where should the law be? I maintain that the hard work done on this bill provides proper safeguards, gives the necessary access for those who are terminally ill, aid in dying if they choose to pursue that avenue. Uh, so to all of you, I thank you for your kind attention. I will remain uh, chairwoman just across the hall for questions and happy to answer any questions in the short term. And uh, I look around this room and some faces are very familiar to me, both pro and con, and uh, I have great respect for all those uh, who are both for the bill and those who would not make this their choice. And I would just ask everyone to remember that uh, where should the law be and what choice should the law impose on the citizens of New Jersey.